so what my technical uh, job implies is working on a college campus. There's 10 chapters all across the state and getting students to become involved in environmental issues, more specifically with Water Watch. We work on water quality issues. Um, and the reason this program is unique and that it's only in New Jersey is because New Jersey has the worst water quality in the nation. Something like 75% or more of the water here is not safe to swim or fish in. Um, and that's due to a lot of reasons. There's a whole uh, problem of industrialization here. Industry like basically originated in like the northern parts of New Jersey. And because of that, there's all these factories, and there's just been pollution coming from them for 30s, like 30 years, 20 years, 50 years, like, and more. Um, another problem that's specific to New Jersey as far as water quality is concerned is overdevelopment. Parts of New Jersey are, like, per square mile more developed than parts of India. So you can imagine that anytime it rains, the water has nowhere to fall but on parking lots and turnpike roads and other businesses. And so any pollution that we leave out is just carried down from the rain to all those places. Um, the biggest problem on campus right now is that the garbage cans are getting contaminated with non-recyclable goods. So little things like that, like just putting your can in the can garbage can, your paper in the paper garbage can, um, is a big thing that you could do to help solve the problem. Hi, I'm Eva J. Petridis. And I'm Irene Sambas. And we're here from what? New Jersey Community Water Watch at Brookdale. Yeah, we did. Today is our Brookdale right campus oh, cleanup, yeah. and yeah, everyone that's part of the Community Water Watch is here today to clean the campus, and whoever's interested can also sign up. This is our sign up table, and we have teams one through seven, which stands for each lot that they're going to clean up. So, say you sign up for team one, you're cleaning lot one. We have um, our advisors, are the main people who are going to be in charge of each lot, and they're like the main person that you follow. And when they're done, they come back here and they grab Mardi Gras beads, and that allows them to get the free food. And that's really it. Yeah, just make a conscious effort with everything you do to reduce. Um, like if you start small, just by simply recycling, throwing things away where you should, and then it'll start to affect other people. Like if they see you're doing it, eventually it's gonna start off that chain reaction. Everybody's gonna kinda take note from you and go ahead and do the same thing. As long as you're active, you speak out about it, you let them know why you're doing it, why it's important. Everybody, first, we have to give a mini round of applause to Keith and Joe. Because they did an awesome job recording this whole thing. Second, a mini round of applause for all the team leaders.